hey you guys welcome to my channel so getting straight into the video i'm actually um redefining the hairline on a bring your own bundle wig this is a service i offer where clients can provide their own bundles and frontal or closure and i construct a wig for them now this wig is actually fitted to my client's head so it says true fit and she does have a smaller head so this wig does fit a bit small However, right here you can see me going into the hairline with tweezers and a hot comb to redefine the hairline. Although the wig is already bleached and customized by myself, you see me here making a bleached mixture because my client requested a very small uh, peekaboo detail and she didn't really care where it was placed but she just wanted to make sure that only she was able to see it unless she wanted to show it. That being said, her wish is my command. Who am I not to do exactly what she wants? So here I am going in with this bleach mixture. I mix BW2 powder and I believe I use 30 developer and I let it sit for I want to say maybe an hour and I'm just going in and making sure it gets fully coated. So now you see that the wig is completely washed and dried and now I'm just going and painting all my attention just to making sure this top of the hair is super flat. I mean, the key to any style is making sure that while you can have volume, you still have flat roots. So now you see me with the baby hair sectioned out for one side, and I will show you what it's going to look like. But furthermore, I'm going to show you the attention to detail and why I pull them out now. I think in general, it's good to get a good consensus of where you want to have your edges and how you want to go about it. But in the background, you just see me continuing to make sure that the top of this wig is flat. So I know it might look really weird and you're probably like, um, what's it going to be? But I did insert a picture right here. This is the end result and why I sculpt out these edges the way I do. She wanted dramatic baby hairs and that is exactly what we're going to do. And the way I go about pulling out baby hairs, I actually like to make curved parts and then section off the hair. So that way you can really get the best angle and then just pluck that hairline one more time to make sure you get the finishing touches. Now that I have the baby hair section, I'm going to move on to styling the hair. So off camera, I already curled up the pack. She really wanted soft curls, not beach waves, not barrel curls, soft curls. And once again, whatever you ask for, I will give. There ain't no question about it. Especially because I didn't have to ship this wig. She was picking it up. I didn't over curl it. I didn't use my barrel or my curling iron. I really just didn't want went in with the wand curls because I knew she was probably going to install it within the same day or two. As far as what I'm doing in this video, I'm just making sure that I'm curling everything in this section and framing it to the frizz and then spraying it with some hair space to make the curl last. So I did finish the remaining style off of camera, but you can essentially see how the curls are starting to frame the face. But the wig in review is actually right here and she ended up loving it i want to say thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe that's all for now